Well, hello there, guys. Today we're jumping into Battle of Empires, a game we haven't touched upon in quite a while, and we're going to be playing the Battle of Carithia as the Australians. This was a major loss. Well, I wouldn't say a major loss, but a tactical defeat for Australia, but the amount of Turkish casualties was pretty enormous. Well, let's see if we can't recreate that and maybe even win this battle. Great job, soldiers. I thought we would never capture the second line of Turkish trenches. Too early to relax. They can counter-attack at any time. We cannot hold for long. It's damn hot here, and we do not have enough water. That's why we have to capture Krithia as soon as possible. We can rest in the shade and quench our thirst there. All right, guys. So, looks like we've got our basic trench work set well, up here. it's time to strengthen this position. Get to work, men. We have to take the guns and mortars the Turks have abandoned. Fair enough, guys. We've already got orders, pretty much. Uh, I'm going to set some guys up over here on these guns. And what I'm going to do is set this area up for you guys. Um, and we'll be back when the action begins. Hopefully I find enough munitions to actually put up a good fight. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. They're attacking! We have to hold this position! Oh, wait a minute. That was fast. Okay, I guess we're getting into combat right now. Let's get those guys on the gun. Come on now. Get on the gun. We've got to defend the trenches from the Turks at this point. Let's hope we've got some ammunition in that gun. Let's see if we have any others across the line. We do, indeed. But I don't control every single unit here. Um, the ones I do control, I will bring back to the trenches, guys. Are those Turkish troops? No, those are British troops for sure. So they haven't attacked yet. Oh, wait a minute. Is it possible they're attacking from a different direction? I'm not seeing any Turkish attacks. Let's just get our guys in the trenches and hope for the best. These guys aren't ours. Alright, we'll get over here and also get on that artillery gun. The artillery gun's going to have to be the most important part here. Uh, to keep the enemy at bay. We don't have many machine guns as far as I can see. <laughs> um, so this has got to work. Get over there. Alright, I hear some gunshots already. There we go, get on the gun. Still not seeing where that gunfire is erupting. I'm trying to follow the sound of the shots. Oh, there we go. So, guys, it looks like they're attacking over here. Look at that, my goodness. Nowhere near what we expected, really. They're actually kind of behind us. Let's take this group. And immediately try to get over here to the trench. I'm also going to grab these artillery guns, and hopefully, yes, they're already firing on the Turkish positions. Beautiful, on the Turkish attack. But, man, I did not attack, I did not expect them to attack uh, from this particular position. Hopefully, though, this artillery, looks like airburst of some sort, uh, is going to wipe them out pretty quickly. Good up, boys. There we go. Australian troop will put them over here. Nice. So, so far, this first wave of Turkish attackers completely wasted. Um, that being said, we need to be aware that the enemy can attack from any position around here. Uh, they can attack from the front, from the rear, etc. So, I want to grab some more units if I can. Again, not all of these units belong to us, unfortunately. The ones that do, we should take good care of. Good up, boys. More firing across the line. It's going to be on the western portion here. You can actually see them. Yeah, I can see them, guys. All right, come on, artillery. Not sure if our artillery can spot every single one of them, but we're certainly going to try. Hit them before they even make it to our trenches. We got boys. Yes! Oh, that was beautiful. Just want to keep these Turks under constant and consistent fire. They're mortars and guns now! Oh, boy. We have to destroy them, or they will crush our defense. Right, we're actually going to push some boys up, just to get a perfect... Defense here. No, not that side. Why, why would you go to that side? Why would you go to that side? I don't understand. Oh my goodness. 
These guys are in trouble. Pick up, boys. Keep it up. And this gun right here is the one that's, that's getting us most of the kills against that particular group of Turks. Oh my goodness, the sandbags are gone. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. So at this point, just keep a consistent fire on that location. Let's see if they're trying to get some cover behind that rock there. But I don't think it's going to help them. As you can see, a tremendous hit there from our arty. And we've got some more Turks over here, guys. It's a shame we can't take control of these other units. We've got a few, um, a few units just sort of scattered around the map, if that makes sense. Waste them. I don't want any of these Turks hanging around. Oh boy, that's our own artillery. Actually, that could be enemy artillery. Remember, they did say they had artillery positions. And I'm actually spotting the Turkish artillery up here. So let's see if we can't grab a group here. Get up to that Turkish artillery and waste it. I'm going to try, guys. I think it's a very dangerous uh, attempt. But what the hell? We're from Australia. We can do it. So before we go there, let me set the guys up here and see if we can't use our guns to take out their guns as well. There we go. Nice. Beautiful hits. Beautiful hits there. They got way too close. And another great thing is if we could actually take over those guns ourselves. That would be perfect. Keep up the fire. Keep it up. And move these boys up. Come on, guys. Let's go. A few Australian troops, a few British troops as well. place looks completely torched. I'm not even sure we'd be able to use that gun if we took it. Let's get these uh, sort of Turkish snipers that are hanging around. And in fact, I'm going to get these guys back in the trenches. I think they're going to be more help out here um, defending than out there dead. And it looks like we've been able to take care of the enemy artillery with our own artillery pretty easily. Come on, why can't we grab some troops back here? Alright, we're going to push uh, this guy here, Kenny Cox. I'm going to try to grab the rest of these folks. Unfortunately, we lost that one gun, probably destroyed by enemy ordnance. I'm going to go ahead and push these guys up over here to the front. Just continue the defense of the trenches, guys. A massive amount of artillery fire still coming in, though. It's got to be coming from another location we're not yet spotting. And I have to say, I'm not too bothered about spotting it because I don't want to, don't want to have to take that that artillery location. But I'm guessing it's going to be one of these other guns that we thought was destroyed. This one is still operational. I just don't think they're using it. But just to be safe, we'll go ahead and fire some shells over there. All right, go. Come on, got some Anzac troops. Let's just take that gun. And as for this officer, uh, put him back in the trench. Actually, the Grenadier, sorry. So the actual gun is damaged. Um, we can repair this vehicle, guys. And imagine if we were able to get another gun on our side. I think that would be pretty useful. Now, the shots our guys are giving seem to be in this general direction. Let's take a look. Yeah, there are still Turks hidden behind this area. Look at this behind the rock. Um, so let's see. With this gun, if we can fix it. Did they fix it? Come on, boys. Because if we can fix this gun, guys... We can actually fire over there at those Turkish positions. It just doesn't look like that's going to be possible. Yes, sir. Click the button and click on the damaged vehicle. All right. No. It's been a while since I played the game, guys. It could be that only engineers can fix these. But what I'm going to do is put our guys up here near the Turks. There's not really a position where we can take cover in this area. That's the problem. Oh, boy. Come on. Get your gun. I guess it's going to have to be near the damage gun where we're going to take cover, guys. Here we go. Wish us luck. Trying to see if we had a grenade. Unfortunately, no grenades there. But plenty of Turks to shoot at. Oh, my goodness. Watch out, man. Trade a grenade. Come on, just one. And it looks like they're definitely hitting us with some pretty nasty artillery fire. But we're still managing to hold. That's the important part. 
Uh, the issue here are just the Turkish troops that are hiding uh, in these rock formations. Let's take this gun. See if we can find any grenades on this uh, dead Turkish soldier. So he's actually got a few things here. What is this? It's a cricket ball grenade! Come on. Attack options. There's the grenade. Oh, gosh. Well, at least we figured out how to get the grenade out. That's that's a start, guys. And it looks like the Turks behind this rock are uh, pretty heavily under fire. Again, a few more rounds in this general area, I think we'll be able to knock them out. Come on, boys. You just see the bullets, um, or the gunpowder from the bullets just sort of popping up around them. Come on, boys, let's go. You Anzac soldiers here, Redford Jenkins. I've never heard of anybody with the first name of Redford, so that's a first. And I'll actually hide our guys over here by the rocks first. Um, sort of rock-to-rock -rock combat, <laughs> if that makes sense. But what I really want to see is, does this guy have any sort of grenade? And I don't believe he does. So the officer might, or the British soldier, I should say, might. Um, it's actually an engineer, sorry. So maybe if we get the engineer, but first, I want to see if we can't just get these guys out quickly to shoot that Turk kind of hanging out on the side. Seems kind of like an obvious position. Yep, in fact... Let's get these guys up here, guys. For some up close and personal combat. And the engineer does not have a grenade, but we do know where the enemy is. Nice. The enemy's trying to flank us, it looks like, over here. Yup, sure enough. Oh, finally our artillery actually managed to come in. And look at that. I see the enemy mortars here, guys. Absolutely see enemy mortars. At least we spotted them. Come on, boys. Hit him. Really a shame that we don't have a grenade, but if we could just get close enough for this guy to get some decent shots. And it looks like a few of our Australians also got back up. Kill him. Good work, boys. There we go. Nice. I see mortars on the hill to our left. Uh, they're in a very favorable position. We'll not get them from here. We must try to go around them with a small group. Try to outflank these mortars through a ravine. Make a clear passage using the dynamite. All right, guys. So it's pretty clear that in this next phase of the battle, we're going to have to get through with a smaller force um, and, of course, destroy or seize all of those mortars on the hill. If you guys enjoyed this first part of the battle, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button, commenting down below, um, and saying if you would like to see some more Battle of Empires. Um, if we do get enough likes on this video, or just enough views, maybe like over 100, I'll absolutely go to part two of this battle. Um, but one negative aspect of this game, I think, is the fact that a lot of the battles that I wish were just strategy-based end up being stealth-based, and that kind of frustrates me. So, if you guys would like to see some more um, Australians in action, let me know, and maybe we'll even get some skirmish battles or multiplayer battles going, depending on how that scene is. Thank you for watching, guys, and thank you to all the brave Australians that fell at Carithia.